Mass Studio. My name is Rosie Lee. I'm a designer and I founded my studio five years ago with my partner Philip Watkins. We design and produce sculptural lighting along with a team of artists and uh, designers here in Brooklyn. I got my start in lighting design with my first prototype that I made as a student in college. My background is in furniture design and the final piece that I designed leaving school was a lamp prototype and when I turned that prototype on it was just a big wow moment. It was a it was magical and that feeling has stuck with me ever since and that really became the impetus to start my own studio practice. So the first series that I designed was a um, spoke and hub model and it came together as these simple platonic solid forms. Once we got here we realized that this system had so much flex in it and that what happens if we start to stack these hubs on on top of one another. What happens when we start to vary the sizes of these spheres? And all this questioning led us to sort of play around with these modules and start to combine them in different ways, start to vary the forms. Um, and the bubbly series was born. We started with a long linear form. And it, you know, once we got to the linear, we realized that um, you couldn't just stack the balls one after another in a you know, straightforward linear fashion. It just look, didn't look right to me. Um, I wanted it to feel like there was a sense of growth, some movement, some levity to these bubbles. So if you, if you look at the final pieces, uh, you'll notice that bubbly has sort of an innate spiral in it. Once we finished the linear chandelier form, I got to thinking about branching and can, what happens if this were to sprout another arm. Um, and that got me thinking about uh, scholar stones. That was the inspiration for our um, bubbly floor lamp. This is, um, I would say that this is like when I first started to treat this series as a sculpture in that I wanted to be able to walk around it 360 degrees and still have the same impact front, back, side to side. The next year, I wanted to create a little bit more textural contrast. Um, and I thought that adding in a little softness via hand-blown glass would really help um, give me that contrast, give me the um, mix of materials that I was craving. So I'd like to actually walk back here and talk a little bit about the um, some nice glass that is uh, blown in Italy through a mold, and then the artisans go in and place these, um, what, what do you call them, wobbles in by hand. Uh, we have the smoke color, and my personal favorite, the opal colorway. And as you can see, it's actually um, quite variable, this color finish. They, it's a tricky color. It's a tricky color to get, um, and I was actually very inspired by opal glass from um, a few decades ago. So this is a completely new prototype that we have developed for over a year now. It took a while to um, go from this idea of uh, a delicate string of bubbles and execute it. It didn't seem right to make this fully out of bubbles. I wanted, again, to create some more levity, to make a more delicate um, uh, form. So these are actually custom chain links that resemble uh, soap bubble silhouettes. Another really exciting addition we've made to the Bubbly series is this really optical, cool, rainbow PVD finish. PVD standing for Physical Vapor Deposition, which creates this color shifting, rainbow, ombre uh, finish. I want to talk a little bit about the Blossom series because, again, bubbly being comprised of, you know, brass ball modules stacked up on each other, um, I wanted to go back to a more minimal form and discover that if we paired two ball modules together and then with two rods, we actually created a triangulated module that is very quite strong and very capable of, you know, 
making these very long and lean fixtures. And this was sort of the basis, the foundation uh, of our Blossom series. As you can see, still quite simple construction, but because of the way we've paired it together, it makes it look like a, a, a branch. This served as the uh, basis for our linear laurel chandelier, which is, uh, again, one size module, rod, and then one size leaf. Let's actually go back to the uh, machine room and look at how we make these leaves. I think that'll be fun. Um, so these are the flat leaves that we get water jet cut. As you can see, they are, you know, they're brass blanks. They're totally flat. And we form, hammer them to shape. Um, this is sort of the first pass at hammering. And you can see we sort of, we do draw lines in because we want to highlight some of these um, flowing curves. This is the second pass. So pretty subtle change. And then the third pass is where we start to get a little bit more deep forming, more grooves. Um, and the uh, color is actually from annealing. We just, we heat up the metal so it becomes softer. Uh, it tempers it so that we're able to form it even further. So why don't we take one of these blanks and uh, see how it becomes one of our hammered leaves. So since these leaves are solid brass um, construction, we are able to put you know, any standard brass finish on them. But we've really settled on three.